So try imagining this. Try you being a parent and your kid going out at the age of 16 with their friends, driving around and doing some of the stuff that you guys do. Um, it would be hard. It would be hard for like you, or it would be hard for you as a parent to let that happen. And that is why the driving age should be raised to 18. It should be raised to the amount of teen fatalities in the past. The best way to solve this problem is by driver's ed, more experience, and obviously raising the age. This should be carried out by requiring driver's ed, and by raising the age, it would also give uh, teens more experience to drive before they actually get their license. Uh, there's a major problem in the United States. Uh, many teens think their parents are just overprotective, but really what they hear and see on the TV and on the internet is most definitely true. Um, in 2010, 33% of deaths among teens were caused by motor vehicle accidents. And there was also a study that showed that 56% of teens uh, use their cell phones while they drive, which also like leads into like why there's so many death, like death rates. As you can see, driving at such a young age is very dangerous but it can get even worse. Statistics show that 16 and 17 year old drivers, driver death rates increase with each additional passenger like added to the car. Um, and according to do something.org, teens, uh, like teens drive worse with more distractions in the car. Only 44% of passengers say that they would like speak up if someone was driving them around dangerously. Uh, the second part I'll be covering is the best way to solve the problem. There's way too many teens passing away due to motor vehicle accidents, as you can see. Um, it hasn't just been in the past couple years either. It's been an ongoing process for a while now. There have been a few states that have considered raising it to 18, but none have actually followed through with their process. Uh, there is one state that, or one of the states that had the highest right now is New Jersey which is 17, and according to the CDC, they have the lowest death rate, like, lowest death rate out of teens across the United States. If the age was raised, practice would also be a lot greater. In Indiana today, you only need 50 hours in a car, pass a test, and take a recommended class, such as like driver's ed. Those are all quite simple, as many of you know. Um, also, if the age was raised, uh, like, the, if the age was raised, the amount of practice in different types of environments would also be greater, such as, like, instead of just driving, like, in the summer or when it's nice out. Um, most are, like, most people, most time, most of the people are taught, like, during the daytime, which causes 40 daytime and because of that 40% of teen accidents happen between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. Many of these statistics may scare you but it's reality. It may not be convenient for you or your family getting your license a year and a half later but is it really worth losing a loved one? The average age to uh, get your license in the United States is 16 but the lowest is 14 and 3 months. According to DoSomething.org, the lower the age, the more, the more the fatality rates increase. Um, after looking at a map from TeenDriverSource.org, it is obvious states like South Dakota and New Mexico have much higher death rates per 10,000 people due to allowing teens to drive at such a young age. Uh, it is also said that the more difficult the driving test per state, like in each state, the lower the fatality rates too. Uh, if this plan was put into action, you would get your permit at age 16 and then you would receive your actual license at age 18. Or if, say, you got your permit at like 16 and a half, you still have to wait two years to get your official license. According to Crystal Lombardo, if you have two plus years of experience versus having less than that, you're twice as likely to not wreck. It would also be highly recommended to take driver's ed. There isn't anywhere that is 18 yet, but if so, it could 
most likely lower the fatality rates. Now that I've covered how dangerous driving is, hopefully you feel as if you need to do something. Raising the age to 18, giving more time, and requiring driver's ed are all possibilities to fixing the problem. The ra raising the age may be a stretch, but you can't, or but you can wait and get to get your license and also have more experience in different times of the day, or also in different types of the environment. Like right now, I think it's like you get your license at 16, like six months or whatever, and then you still have to wait like a year to have passengers. So I feel like there would still be some type of restriction on like how, like what time you can actually start driving people around. Um, did, I don't think you said what state, but um, what state is you can get your permit at 14? So um, it's South Dakota and like states out like west. So, like, are they, like, thinking about actually implementing that, or is it just, like, what you feel? Um, like, they've thought about it. Like, states like, like, the, like, like, bigger cities and stuff like that, like, really consider, like, like, states out west, they really don't, like, because there's not a whole lot of people out there, but, like, in the big cities, that's where their main concern is, like, <coughs> more and out, out east and everything like that. I mean, could you see potentially like every state having its own driving li limit or yeah. driving age? Yeah, a lot of them are different. Mm -hmm. Like they range from anywhere from 17 to 14 to three months, like I said. Yeah. I mean, I just think of like our community. You yeah. Know, we need people to be able to drive tractors or ever, yeah. you know, any type of other different type of vehicle besides a car. So. All right, jump.